What's up YouTube? It's Torn bringing you another episode of our uh, Minecraft Survival Let's Play. And apparently, we have a slime who wants to visit. Come here Mr. Slime. I want your slime balls. Oh, ha, ha. Alright. Oh wait. Where did I miss one? Any more? They might be up a level too. Oh no, there they are. All right, there it is. Um, I don't see any more. They could be in the walls or somewhere. What I need to do is grab a couple of these. I don't know why those aren't. Hmm, curious as to why it's not hydrating those ones, even though there's water all along the middle there. Hmm, that will be a conundrum for another day. I need these, I'll show you guys why momentarily. Alright, so I've been working on both the, um, on the chicken farm, as well as breeding the animals and stuff as I need them. So I've gone with the, I'm trying to figure out if I like the gray better for the trimming, or if I like using the cobblestone better. Um, so yeah, what do you guys think? Gray? Cobblestone? Let me know what you guys think. But you can hear the chickens. They're hiding. I have them hidden. Haha. -ha. This is really cool. I don't even have to go down there. I just have to feed them from here. And they go all crazy. Same with the cows. No going down there required. You just have to come over here and feed them. I could go down there. But it's a lot easier just to feed them up here. Right, now don't let the babies drown. So, yeah. But I got the chicken farm finished, so I'm going to show you guys that now. Um, I've been working on the hallway and stuff. As you can see, a big T for Torhan. Huh? Um, got this part done here. This is going to be a corridor that's going to branch off a couple of different directions. I'm not sure if I'm going to go this way or if I'm going to do angled hallways like this. Um, I'm still deciding what I want to do over here and stuff too, but here leads us over to chickens. Well, part of it. So all the chicken eggs come through a, a hopper into the chest. And up here, we have the chicken coop. So this chickens drop an egg. Egg comes here. Just make sure that it falls into the hopper. Up here, I have a few chickens. Um, and basically, they just constantly sit there. And the eggs come down. And then in order to put new chickens in there, which is taking me quite a while, um, I'll show you guys. Oh, there you go. As you can see, the egg comes down. It'll get hit this, get pushed, and drop into the hopper. Works beautifully. So what we're going to do is take a couple stacks of eggs. Oh, I need to get rid of some of the stuff in my inventory. Oh, gosh, that doesn't help me. So let's go empty the inventory, then I'll show you guys up where we actually have the chicken, the hatch, I should say, to add more chickens. 
So there's still a lot of work to be done. I'm still debating how I want to do a few things. Um, but it's going along pretty well. I don't need these. Keep the night vision. Keep the bow. I gotta really go through and organize my stuff at some point. Alright. I don't even know if it's daytime or nighttime. Normally I don't really care because I'm down here working. But it makes it easier to get where I want to go if it's not nighttime. And it's raining. <clears throat> well, nothing like a little adventure, right? The only thing that might hurt me are spiders or skeletons. I'm not too worried about them either way. So over here, I'm pretty sure it's this way. Let's see. How did I give you permission to leave? Chicken coop. Oh, there it is. Ow. Hey, look. Doesn't go anywhere. But that's what I wanted right over there. Oh, I think this one is empty too. Yeah. Probably end up filling those in one day or something. But, right here. All we do is... And we have more chickens. Pretty easy, pretty simple. Though I wonder... No, I don't need to worry about that. Because it's all stone around it. But yeah, that's um, pretty much how I've been populating the chickens. I just have a little hatch over here. That I've been using. And Oh wait, let's go back to the efficiency and breaking. I've been using my um, Silk Touch when I'm working on um, when I'm going through stone if I want to keep it. Um, but right now I don't really care about keeping the stone. I don't really need it at the moment. Let's see where I'm at. Oh, hey! That is kind of cool. I can make a little thing that goes up here to go take an add to the chicken coop without having to uh, go all the way around. Very nice. So I'll have to remember that right down there. So that makes it easy. I'm probably going to make a, a piston door here. Oh, that reminds me. Ha ha! I have been doing some other stuff besides this, too. Um, I will show you guys. Just dinking around. I'm actually going to probably take it out and fill it in, but I was messing around. And... I made a piston door. I need to make an actual back door that goes out the back of here somewhere instead of being just to so this just goes right back to the front. See, it just goes right back here and there's the main entrance there. Um, so what I want to do is I want to do something similar to this, but I want to do it on the other side of the hill. So that way if I'm over there exploring, I don't have to run all the way back to the front. I can just find my hidden passage and go in that way. But I was just goofing around seeing how I, if I could get it to work the way I want. And I was able to do that. I'll show you guys what it looks like. 
here. Um, oh, there we go. So it's really simple. Uh, this just basically connects the two buttons into the my little switch here. So what it does, I can't remember what this is called, but basically it's like an on-off switch. Um, when this block is over the torch, it powers the redstone, which powers the pistons and closes the door. Uh, when it's not powered, of course, the pistons turn off and it closes. So, like this, door closes, it's powered. Ta-da! And you do it again. It unpowers, door opens. Really simple to do, really easy to do. Ah, oh, dang it, I should have used my silk touch. Oh well, we'll just come up here and go, gimme. I need to put some light in here anyways. Alright, six should do me. Yeah, so basically that's kind of what I did. I, um... I just made a, a little door here. Um, what I want to do with the front door is I want to make a three wide triple piston door. So I want to basically let's see if I have any use jungle wood that'll work. So what I want to do is I want to have a triple door. Rah. And of course I probably don't have my axe on me. No. Uh, where did I put it? Eh, it doesn't matter. I shall just make myself a new one. Haha. Ta da! So what I want to do is go back here to my jungle wood. And I want to have a door that looks basically an entrance that's um, like this. And so then when you walk up to it, it'll pull all these up into pistons. And open up. Um, I won't. Do, I'm, I might do it out of wood. I might do it out of uh, cobblestone. I might do it out of something. Maybe nether brick quartz. I don't know yet. The material, eh, whatever. I can. I can always change it up if I want. But I want to do something like that right here. I want to have a, a three piston door that goes out. And so that basically, hmm, I wonder. Because these three, yeah, I'd still have those three disappear. Even though I wouldn't need to. Because they're pretty much right at the step. So I'd only have to take and pull two. I have to pull that one up and these two to the sides. But the problem is, is I don't know that I have... Yeah, see. So what I might do is instead of putting it here... I might actually bring the ceiling here down because I can I can bring the ceiling across all the way and then basically this will lead to the outside and this will be open permanently but I would put the, the three wide door here so you'd come in hit you either hit a button or you'd hit pressure plates I think I'll do a button on the door on the wall um, that way uh, mobs can accidentally open it so I'd come over here, there'd be a button on this side and a button on this side. I'd hit the button, the door would open, I could continue down into my base, or I'd come up, hit the button, and continue outside. And then that way, this right here, 
I could actually put some some temporary storage here. So when I'm traveling, I don't have to go all the way back into my base. I can just come in here, drop off the temporary stuff, go back out. And then um, if I do want to go on my base, I can just go down through there, through the, uh, through the lovely uh, door that I'm going to create, the piston door. I think that's what I'm going to do. But I've never really done a three piston door like that before. So I'm going to have to go into my test world and actually figure out the redstone for it and then shrink it down so it's really easy to do. Um, but it shouldn't be too hard. Because it's just a double piston. The bottom one would just be a... Actually, no. The bottom one can be a single piston too. I think. Right? Yeah, I should be able to take and actually make the bottom one just a single piston that's pushed up when it's on and then when it's off it goes back down. So I could do a single piston three along the sides or I can do three along the bottom and one on the side. I don't know. Whatever's easier I think I'll figure it out. But yeah, that's what I want to do. Um, I want to put a door like right here. Right there. No, because those are half blocks. I'll put the door here. Right on there. Grr. Or maybe... Put it here? I don't know. I'll figure it out. I gotta... I gotta mess with the, the workings of this room. Or maybe... I'll still put it here. But I'll bring the stairs back slightly and give me a little more room to work with the above area up here. Um, because... I do have a little bit of room and I don't need a lot of room to make the piston work. Only... two blocks, because when it's extended it'll be up here. Or it'll be pushed down, so I only need to be able to go up two blocks. So maybe we can bring the wall back and put the door right here. To go out. And then once we're out, and then on the other side of the door... We can leave these. So when this is down... So when this is pushed down, then this is shown and I can walk out. Maybe. I shall figure it out and I will get back with you once I have done so. Alright YouTube, and I'm back and this is the what I decided to go ahead and do. I'll show you the wiring here in a second, but basically it opens, lets us go through, I can close it on the other side. Nice and neat. And it wasn't too hard to do. I like it. So, let's see. Here's the way to get in. So what I had to do is, let's see, okay. So, this leads over to the other button over there. And then this leads around over here to the top. And this basically is what is what gets uh, powered or not powered to move it over the... This is the on-off switch that sends power over here to this piston in the side. Then it sends power down to these three, which go up. And then it sends power up this way. Uh, this one here powers the piston this piston there that piston and then it continues to power up here and powers these three uh, these three repeaters 
into the blocks, which then power the pistons beneath them. And that's it. So really, it was just a matter of running the wire up to there, and then connecting it all to the on and off switch, so that way it does what I want it to. And then the, the torch, of course, is underneath here, so when this block is over the hole, then it works. And that's it. Pretty straightforward. Um, you know, you hit the button, and it moves off the torch, and then it's off. And then you hit the button again, and it closes back. But yeah, so pretty, pretty simple, pretty straightforward. Um, I just had to, you know, use this room to do it in, which, you know, I really, I wasn't really using it for anything, anyways. So I decided, you know, we'll put the on-off switch in here and connect it all. And I think it looks awesome. Let's see. It's a mistake. And I went ahead and used cobblestone around it to tie it back into the everything. And then we put the... I used nether brick for the door. Um, unless I can think of something that I like better, I'm going to stick with the nether brick. And to make it easy to find the on-off the buttons to open it, I use different uh, stone or cobblestone to accent it. So at least it makes it easy to find. And you notice, I, I went ahead and kept uh, kept with the pattern to go out at least try to do the best I can I probably could extend it here but then I'd have to push this wall out again and I don't want to so we're gonna leave it the way it is but I like it so yeah um, that's pretty much my uh, my piston door to come in and out of here. Um, I like the way it looks. I think it looks really cool. Um, what I'm going to do is I got to find. I got to find a place far away. And oh yeah, I also did this stairway too. But I might change that up for the nether brick and the quartz because I like the way that looks better. And then down here, I'm going to change these from cobblestone to something else eventually, I think. Or I'll leave this area as cobble. I don't know yet. We'll figure it out. I might change this to be nether brick. And quartz. Or just nether brick. I'm not sure yet. Right now, I'm going to leave it as cobble. Because I don't really have any other... Oh, hey you at but yeah I uh, I've been having some fun hi sheep you know it's dangerous to travel along take this oh wait you can't use that Sucker, you gotta stay by me so I can keep your life. Oh, there he is. And you're dead. Come into my house and growl at me. This is what happens, you die. I wonder if this is one of the ones that leads out. It is. Oh, nice. Gosh dang it. Arr. Wow, that was like a horde of ugly. Again, at my front door. You caught me on fire. I think I'm going to hold this one off. See, all these ways to come in to near my front door, but I want it an access on the other side of the hill. So I'm going to have to figure out which one of these tunnels goes where I want. And then I'll have to branch to it somehow. And then once I branch to it, oh hey look! 
once I figured out which one I want to use, I'll connect to it. And then we'll, uh, so the front door's there. Yeah, I'll have to explore some more and figure out. Plus, I need to finish the ceiling in this room. Make it look all party and stuff. And i got to build a better room for this. I want to build a room that's not connected to my main area here. What I want to do is outline this, do a des design the room a little bit better, and make it look like a main hall that branches to the different directions I want to go. Somehow, I'll make it work that way. See, I could always close up this entrance here and have this either go this way or go this way. And that would work. And then I can close off that wall. Hmm. And then it'd be a little more similar to over there. I might fix those steps there. So that they come even with those. Up this way and around. Because I'm not really doing anything over here. I just connected it all. Or not connected, but I just kind of was messing with the hallways. So there's nothing I have to worry about changing over here. So what I might do is move it over so that it lines up with the these entrances. And then design the room so that way the entrances kind of have a little bit more of a purpose than this mess that I have, this haphazard mess I have now. And then I can find a permanent room for the potions and enchanting somewhere. I still need to bring my nether portal over here too. And I want to put the nether portal somewhere further down. Um, closer to zero, closer to um, bedrock. Like I want to do like a little mini lava room or something for it. Because down here is where we have the food currently. And there's a slime somewhere. He's either above or below. My guess is he's below somewhere. But I still have all these mine shafts and stuff too uh, that I have to find a use for. I could turn them into tunnels. Yeah, I don't know. I'll figure it out and let you guys know. Um, but there's a ton of resources down here still that I haven't gathered. And slimes galore. I need to make a slime farm. Oh, that's what I want to do soon. Is I got to find a where I want to put my mob trap. And it's not really a mob trap for experience. It's a mob trap mainly for items. Um, mainly gunpowder and such. Uh, so that's another thing I want to figure out where I'm going to put that. I'm going to have to figure that out because I don't want to keep it where I'm going to be near all the time. Um, because then I'd hear the, the constant monsters falling and stuff. Uh, but I want to do it in an area that's well lit. That way I get the best spawn rates there. And that'll also help cut down the spawns in my base too. Yeah, I'll figure it out. Until then, um, I don't think there's really anything else um, that I can go over right now. Um, shovel. Yay for coal. Not like I don't have enough of it already. Hey, my, more iron. You can never have enough iron, apparently. 
All right. Dirt can go down here. And we'll put stone in to fill up the gaps. But anyways, you guys, um, I'm going to dink around some more and try to figure out where I want to put some stuff. Uh, work on this here. Get this room a little more organized. We'll probably bring this wall. And I might do it more like a circular type pattern or an octagon in this room. To give it a little more purpose. I gotta move this to a more permanent place too. None of this stuff in here is permanent. This is all temporary. I gotta design this room, work the hallways into it and such. Um, but that's what I'm gonna do soon. Um, for now, I want to find the place where I can... I got the, the animal stuff done. I got the small farm area done. I want to move this stuff so I can change how this room functions. And I need to make a storage room. So I think the next thing I'm going to do is find a giant room and make a storage room. So I can get rid of all this stuff here. And have a little bit more organization for the storage. That's probably what I'm going to do next. Is figure out where I'm going to put the storage room. Um, and I know I don't want to put it over here. But I do have my... Manip the hallway that I was working on to go this way. So I can always put the storage room. Ah, oh, but I don't want to put it up. See, all these things I gotta think about. It's crazy. Decisions, decisions, decisions. I think I'm gonna put it over this way. Put the storage room like over yonder. Yeah, I'll put the storage room over here. I can dig this out. Oh, hey. I almost forgot. I can still put the storage room over here. Like, have, have a tunnel come this way. Have it go that way. Oh, no. Storage room off this way, and then going straight this way, I can actually start going down to get to, like, the nether portal area and stuff. Yeah, I think that's what I'm going to do. I'll take this straight out that way, or straight down. I'll start staircasing down to get to the area down below that I saw. And then I'll go angle off this way to do storage. Or, instead of angling, I'll just go straight back this way. Go straight back that way to do storage. And then this way is going to go... I'll go this way, and then over and up to get out to the chickens. I don't like it. I think that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to do a little more reconnaissance and see what all is above me, around me, and beneath me to figure out the best idea. But that's that's what I think I'm going to do. Is I'm going to go this way and go down for the nether portal and stuff and go this way for the storage room. Or I'll go down and then do the storage room and then go down to the nether portal. I might just actually go down first before I do anything else. But there's some nice space up there, so I don't know yet. Decisions, decisions. Well, I will let you guys know on the next episode. Until then, uh, thanks everybody for watching. I hope you enjoy the changes and the videos I put out. Again, leave your suggestions, whether I use the wool or the cobble. I'm leaning more towards the gray wool. Or at least in this area, maybe. Or maybe I'll go with the, the cobble. Because um, the cobble tends to look better with the stone. But, I don't know, I don't want to use cobble and stone everywhere. I want to give it a little bit different look in the different areas. Wow. That's going to get full quick. And then what am I going to do when it's full? I think I'm going to start making pumpkin pies. How'd you get down here? I think pumpkin pies are what I'm going to start making. Give me a use for the pumpkins and for the ex eggs so that I'm not wasting them. But anyways, you guys, again, thanks for watching. Um, and... Uh,
Hmm. Yeah. The gray's nice, but the cobble works too. I don't know. I'll figure it out. Uh, if you guys have suggestions, leave them. Otherwise, thanks everybody. You guys are awesome. I love my subscribers. You guys rule. And uh, I really appreciate everybody that takes time to watch these. Um, but take care, everybody. And I will chat with you next episode. Peace.